Hi there, I'm going to do the Thanksgiving Day tag. It was created by Angela of Angela's Happy Family. I will put her uh, link to her channel in the description below. I haven't been tagged by anybody, uh, but I wanted to do it because it's a really fun tag. I'm not sure if I know anybody who hasn't done this video or done this tag, I should say. Uh, so if you are watching this and you haven't done this video, please consider yourself tagged. And um, if you do the video, let me know and uh, tell me in the comments below and I will go watch the video. So the first question is, what Thanksgiving dish do you dislike the most? And for me, that has to be cranberries because I'm allergic. I had cranberries in a sandwich many, many years ago when I was a teenager. I was working for a retirement home and they served a lunch there and I went and I was a server and I served people lunch and the cook made tuna fish sandwiches with dried cranberry in them. And I don't know why it is I hadn't had cranberry until then, but I ate it and it was like, it felt like my mouth was on fire and my throat was on fire and I said, oh my gosh, these cranberries are so spicy. People were like, what? I had to go to the emergency room and have a shot of adrenaline. It was not great. So that would be my least favorite Thanksgiving gift. What is Thanksgiving like in your family? So growing up, we always, you know, got together and had Thanksgiving at our house, my parents' house. Um, and then for a few years, we went and went to the coast, the Oregon coast, and met up with some extended family. We did that for a while. And now that I'm grown up and I'm married, Thanksgiving looks a lot different to us. For a, f a few years, we did host Thanksgiving and we had my in-laws come in and my family who's here come in and it was like a whole big deal. We even had my husband's grandmother come a couple of times all the way from the Midwest in for Thanksgiving. But my husband works as a retail manager and he has to be to work at like three o'clock in the morning on Black Friday. So slowly but surely, our family started deciding they'd rather spend Christmas with us than Thanksgiving because really my husband wakes up Thanksgiving Day morning rather grumpy because he's preparing for their Black Friday and then um, goes to bed super early and gets up and goes to work on Black Friday. Personally, I go shopping <laughs> because nobody's here at my house except me and my kids so we get up ridiculous early because we're already awake really because my husband's alarm goes off and that wakes the kids up and we're just like okay we're up let's go so now the last this is will be the second year in a row to ba -ba -da -ba -da -da. I don't know what that was uh, this will be the, <laughs> hopefully I can edit that out this will be the second year to fingers Katie one, two. Second year in a row that we have Thanksgiving and nobody's coming. <laughs> They're all just like, nope, we're not coming. We'll see you on Christmas. So, um, it's just going to be Jay, Squeak, T, and me hanging out, having Thanksgiving dinner, eating turkey, watching a football game. Uh, number three, do you think the turkey should be cooked breast up? Or down and I would say breast up I think that's right <laughs> okay. hopefully hopefully I edited out the embarrassing part which is the reason I'm all red so I was saying my favorite uh, Thanksgiving food is the perfect bite so mashed potatoes a little bit of mashed potatoes a little bit of stuffing and then just stick the turkey on the end of the fork and then um the perfect bite if I had to pick just one I I can't I can't pick between stuffing and mashed potatoes because, to be perfectly honest with you, I like them mixed together. I used to be a kid that was like, had to have everything separate, and now I'm this person that's just like, mixes everything together. I don't know, it's weird. 
Number five, do you watch a Thanksgiving Day Parade? Which one? Yes, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I have watched it every year since I was a little kid. Uh, Jay really likes football. I did not grow up watching football. No. So there's been a little bit of a remote struggle in our house about <laughs> what we watch on Thanksgiving. Uh, we watch the parade, though. <laughs> Usually the parade wins. Probably not this year because the Eagles are playing. Go Eagles. Uh, do you save the wishbone? Yes, every year. How do you feel about Black Friday? Oh, we just already talked about that. Um, I feel fine about it. It. I know that it's a bummer for my husband to get up really early in the morning and go to work. But lots of people work weird hours or... And he only really has to do it one day a year. So I'm grateful for that. There are a lot of people who work other jobs like doctors and um, people in the military. They, they're gone all the time. And um, yeah, I think that this nonsense about shopping on Thanksgiving is crazy. That upsets me because we should be having Thanksgiving to have Thanksgiving not to shop for Christmas. That's kind of what I feel like is happening. Is there's like we're shifting Thanksgiving from an actual holiday where we celebrate with family to like it's the greatest shopping holiday of the year and, and that's just wrong. I don't like that. But as far as Black Friday is concerned, I'm all on board with it. I do a lot of my Christmas shopping on Black Friday because my husband's not here. And I Pretty awesome sales. I wouldn't say that I would stand in line for two hours outside of a store and trample over people. But I don't even think that's really a common practice anymore. I think that when this Black Friday really got big, that happened a lot. But I think over the years, it's gotten less and less. At least that would be my hope. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so I'm fine with Black Friday. Um, just really not support of um, working on Thanksgiving or having people be forced to go to work on Thanksgiving. I would hope that that doesn't happen to my husband in the future. Um, number eight, do you or your family cook stuffing inside the bird or separately? We used to cook it inside the bird and then I read somewhere that it's not safe to do so. Uh, and now I cook it outside of the bird. So I just prepare, um, prepare it alongside with the bird and then I put the bird in and then I put the stuffing in and allow it to cook uh, in a separate container. Does your family have a designated kitty table? I'm sure if we had enough children that were present we would but since there's not going to be anybody here we're probably going to just sit at our table and eat. In fact We'll probably make a special exception and eat in our living room and pull out a card table or something so we can watch the parade and eat and that kind of stuff. How, that's a good question. Does, for you guys to leave in the comments below, do any of you ever make exceptions and eat in the living room in front of the TV, get out the TV trays and stuff like that? We do that like very rarely, but it does happen and I think it's really fun. It's like throwback. I feel like all 50s with my, <laughs> I've got these really cool trays I pull out and we eat in front of the TV. Sometimes we do that when we have movie night. So anyway, if you do that, leave it in the comments below. Tell me what you do and what your special occasions are for eating in another room other than where your dining room table is. What is your favorite Thanksgiving dessert? Pumpkin pie. I really like pumpkin pie but only because I never have it. <laughs> I, if I had pumpkin pie all the time, I wouldn't like it. I don't think it's very rich. Um, but yeah, pumpkin pie. And not even really the pie itself, but the pie crust. <laughs> I could just eat like a whole pie crust. Um, okay, so question number 11 is does your family watch football on Thanksgiving Day and what team will they be rooting for? Yes, we do watch football on Thanksgiving Day. We are, our whole family 
and by whole family I mean like the core four of us in our family are Philadelphia Eagles fans. My husband grew up here uh, locally for the local sport and his dad roots for the local sports teams, uh, including our local football team. <clears throat> but my husband fell in love with the Eagles as a six-year-old, I believe, watching Randall Cunningham. And we went back and forth about, like, running off to Las Vegas to have Randall Cunningham marry us. <laughs> We've already had two weddings, but it would be cool to have Randall do a third. But anyway, uh, I never liked football growing up. Uh, I was never, like, a sports person. So it's, it was different for me, but I... Jay and I have been together for 10 years, and so by now it's just become sort of old hat. So yes, we will be watching football also on Thanksgiving Day and rooting for the Philadelphia Eagles because that's who we always root for. Uh, so number 12 is, other than your family, what are you most thankful for? And that would be the ability to be able to live my dream. And that is being able to stay home with my children, homeschool my children, write, make videos, be creative, make connections, make new friends. I've made so many new friends. I started putting up videos on my channel in July and it's like a whole new world has opened up and I'm so thankful for that. It's been a slow process. But anything that's worth something takes time, and it takes hard work and effort. And this is definitely worth a lot, and I'm very grateful for it. So those are all the things I'm thankful for. I have a lot to be thankful for. Oh, 13. What technology are you most thankful for? Hmm. Probably my phone, because without it, I couldn't make videos for you guys. Uh, I have a video camera, but it's not great. I'm hoping to get, fingers crossed, an actual camera for Christmas, but the chances of that happening are really teeny tiny. But I'm still hoping, you know. And so I would have to say I'm most thankful for my phone. It's always there. It allows me to check my various social media sites, so I'm thankful for it. And 14, complete the turkey challenge. It's out with like the gobble, 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 gobble. I can't, I can't do it. That's the best I can do. Gobble, 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 gobble. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. Remember, you can always find us at www.ourfamilieslog.com. And we'll see you tomorrow.